Yep. Buck out! And this time I'm with the wild thing. Bushy Johnson. <laughs> I am the new Bushy Johnson. Bushy Johnson. I'm Wooly Willy. <laughs> Look at this man. <laughs> Lockdown disasters. <laughs> anyway, Saturday again. And we're out for a wander. Um, the land of the kings. Yeah, I've had my jab, so I'm all right coming this side of the water. <laughs> <laughs> the land of the uh, cheesy chips. <laughs> cheesy chips. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that far over yet. Cheesy right? chips. Cheesy yeah. chips is further that Near way. Near enough. It's south of the river, that's enough. It's all I need to know. South of the river's cheesy chips, is it? So we've just come over the road of death. And underneath the road of death. And I have no idea, no idea where we're going. I don't know, he's sprinting. How can you run that fast? I can't even, I can't even drive that fast. Anyway. Into the we're going to go path. into the... Temple Park, anybody knows this area? You mean now more than me. Even though I work around here, my lab's based around here, like down that way. But I never really explore. So anyway, we'll see what this brings. Woo! But we haven't got far, and we've found the mysterious tree of snails. Get in there, so Look at them all. Look at all them. Get the garlic butter. <laughs> I've eaten snails before. Oh, aye. Oh, right. Snails are nice, man. They're done properly. They're absolutely right. I wouldn't eat them, like. It's like snot. You've got to have them where they've been purged. So they just eat, like, lettuce or whatever. Get all the sand and crap out of them. And all the stuff out of them, all the poisons and whatever, toxins. Snails. Nice. Don't knock the snails till you try them. We've just come off the uh, another road of bloody death. There's plenty of roads of terror around here. And we're just walking along these fields. These crops, what do you think these crops are? Uh, I don't know, probably broccoli, I think. Like. Broccoli? Do you reckon? It's got to be. It has to be. Looks like broccoli. Proper mac and broccoli. Broccoli. If um, Mountain Mike's watching, <laughs> he'll know. He'll know what the crop is. <laughs> Right, so we're going to head through this little snicket of terror. What is this little bridle way, isn't it? Aye. Right. Head on towards the... Who uses the word snicket? Anybody? Lem lemony snicket. Who knows that word? Lemony. Before I like, get cut through, I think it's a Yorkshire word. Lemony snicket. And um, we'll see where we end up. Nice what a lovely day it is today. Oh, it's beautiful. What a it's lovely like day. Summer, isn't it? it really is. Day. I'm sweating, I'm going to be taking this top off shortly. Engine house deliveries. That's Cleden Water Tower. And now the pump house will be here, like, where they treat all the you sewage. You can see it better for when you get up the top. Like. No idea what the water tower's for, though. I've never come across that before. Anybody can enlighten me. Still looks a good nick, though, doesn't it? Alright, very good nick. <gasps> What's happened? What's happened? We've been locked up. Breaking COVID rules. <laughs> Inside old windmill, an old empty windmill, apart from a few footballs. You can't even really read that, can you? <laughs> Cleden windmill. This mill and the surrounding hills were Oh, the wind's not picked up. <laughs> Put my top back on here because it's freezing. Woo! Woo! There's the windmill, windy mill. That's Sunderland there, I can't go any further than them trees. Otherwise I start coming out in blisters. I'm like Dracula in sunlight if I got in Sunderland. Clean water tower. Tells you about the tower look. Oh look, you can pause the video. Let's get it in. Pause the video now. And then if you... It's the, chim it's the chimney from the pumping station. Oh, the chimney. Chimney, what? That's what it says. Look, newts. Right. Lizard. 
common lizard. I bet they're not that common. But we didn't see one. Saw one earlier. Saw two earlier. That was a newt. Uh -huh. Lizard's a bit bigger. Right in the distance, you probably won't be able to see it. Penshaw yeah. Monument. Oh. You can see 360 here for miles. Miles and miles and miles. It's good. So here we are at the uh, the manger of the baby Jesus. Look at that. Who wouldn't drink from that? It's seen some action like, hasn't it? It's seen lots of action. Huh? Lots of licking. Got a bit of patina on it. Bit, oh, there's plenty of patina on it. That's probably worth a fortune, you know. Well, of course it will be. Somebody love it. We're just trespassing in a farm. Oh no, it's love, it's right away. Where's the fun in? It's better if you're trespassing, man. Anyway, um, you might notice somebody's missing. Tommy Tumpo, Tin Mug Adventures. Crazy hound. He's not allowed out. He had his jab, so I think he's going to be poorly. I was, I was ill. I had my jab on Thursday, and I was ill Friday. I'm all right now. I'm about eighty percent now. Oof. It was rough. You get like old stone wheel. You get like the symptoms of the flu, but it passes. Uh, it's a millstone. It's one of them around my neck. Grind the flour with that. There'll be a couple of them together. See, I've got like a pivot in the middle. It yeah. goes around on a big stone wheel in the middle of the flour with it. Hello? Yeah, anyway, about the jab. So get your jab. It's not all that. I feel fine now. Don't be one of these weirdos. Get your jab. No, no, don't be like, it's got full of bugs. Oh. Hello. Hello. Give me five. Horse signed horses, don't right. we? Ginger. Let it smell your hand. It's a big one, isn't it? Big old beast. I think they're race horses. You're on camera, man. Camera. It's <laughs> a wolf man putting them off. Right. We're off. We'll see you later. So here we are, we're uh, six miles in and we're on the beach down on the coast. What's this, Whitburn? Seaburn. Seaburn. Aye. Sea. Sea. Yeah, Seaburn here and then Whitburn's literally just there. There's not a great deal of distance. Um, just having something to eat. See, Mike? My mate stops for coffee. Even though he's not drinking any, but he still stops. Still lets me drink my coffee. <laughs> just to remember that. Kind of busy down here, like everybody's out and about. This is a taster of what it's going to be like in summer. No, it's going to be, you're not going to be able to move. I'm not going to be coming here in the summer. It's bouncing. Sure. What was that noise? So what we're going to do is go back along there. Hit the coast. Hit the coast, walk along the coast and then back inland. Should be about 10 miles. More. More? We'll see at the end. There'll be a video at the end of the relive walk thing again. Look at about 12. Look at that good hairy dog down there on the beach. Ooh, <laughs> got dreads. <laughs> He's been in, any? he? It's a Rastafari. Eh? It's so busy though. It's windy as well. Oh, just escaped out that wind. Whew. Look, spring has sprung, I'll tell you. Daffodilios. Daffodilicuses. This is a uh, rock up here. It's not, is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was further along. No, that's rock up here. <laughs> I knew really. Oh, you didn't know. And we're just looking at, we're marvelling at these houses here. Imagine living here, man. Unreal. And there's no real erosion either. Because the sea doesn't get rough up here. You may get the odd high tide, but that's it. You don't get wild. So. You can see right along the coast, look. You see, you just, you just make it out. Aye. Uh, in, the, in the haze. Yeah. All the way down to like. Whitby area. Like Stairs and, and all that around the around the back of it. Aye, Saltburn. The big cliffs at Saltburn. Nice down there, you know. Mm. Lovely for a bimble round there, like. Nice for a wild camp. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Want to start yoga? It's start start by bending over and picking up your dog poo. <laughs> I love it. Known as the downward dog <laughs> position. <laughs> oh, I love it. Classic. We don't mince the words around here like that. Look at this. Look at this. That's got like full balcony all the way around. So where do you live? Huh? Just live here. Just live these right are the, on these the, are the sea. These are the houses I love. 
The old fishermen's like, cottages. The old fishermen's cottages, I love them. Isn't it funny, right? No matter where in the world you are, you can be Scotland, anywhere, and you, you say fishermen, you always talk like that when you're in about fishermen. Those Scottish fishermen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's like, a, it's like a back of a pub, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I'm having that. We've come across something very bizarre. So you, you're on the path away from the cliff edge and there's a, a sign there. What does the sign say? Hold on, I'll just approach. Ah, oh, warning, it is dangerous to approach close to the cliff edge. So you've got to approach the cliff edge to read the sign to tell you not to approach the cliff edge. This is Sunderland, this like. This is what it's like in Sunderland. So you're causing bother like. She's a jump there. She's a jump there. Uh, watching it. Look at them gallop. Look at the horse's gun. Do 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 Black Beauty. Fancy. Only people of a certain age will know that. It's a wind, I don't know if it's picking up the wind noise. I have got the muff on. That'll be lobster pop marker that. We'll come the back. Yeah boy aye. That's not far out. We've come down the back of uh, here, must have been the old shooting range because here's where the here's where the targets would be, on the sandbanks. They just be a shooting range. Yeah. I think the army used to use it. Yeah, army barracks used to be army barracks used to be up there. Barracks? Right. No, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where Barracks or Barma. That's where the old shooting range will have been. A bit close to the path, isn't it? Imagine that. You used to shut it off? Aye. Right. So here we are at the great stone circle of South Shields, Whitburn, Seaburn. Nice little camping, camping pitch here. This is the perfect camping spot, but would you want to? Too many people. Too rural, in it. Too like. Too close to, to knobheads. Aye. But this is this was done in Neolithic times by the Romans for um, Bronze Age sacrifices. Yeah. I think that's about right. That's very true. Yeah. This is the back of one of them shooting range things. Yeah. Not getting any, any bullets going through there. Not even get a Magnum P45 through there. Ooh. But we're heading to um, a lighthouse, nice red and white lighthouse, red and white like. I've well, got me to take a bo past, bucket of black paint. paint. And you can see, look, you can see from here. Oh, yeah, you can see the you top of it. See just see the, the tip of it. You can just see the tip. Yeah, just the, just the end. Just the red end. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to take some black paint there one day and change it from red and white to black and white. Or red and black. <laughs> Got some, uh, some sea stacks. And I, it says, it says don't cross, crossing over is dangerous. But not forbidden. Let's see, you can't do it. This is dangerous. We thrive on danger. Yeah, look. See, they're not going to be here forever. They're all falling down. That almost looks like face, nose, mm. mouth. Nose, face, mouth. Nose, face, mouth. Like a Roman. So underpinned there as well. That will go eventually. Yeah. You can see why they tell you not to cross the fence leg. Like. But this is the sea stack, so we're heading along with a few more along here. We'll bring you back. And then they've got a fitty on there, man. Can you imagine? But this is weird rock. This, this is there. Uh, like really, well, layers and layers, thousands of years. <clears throat> right on the beach now. Look at this. <coughs> oh, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> You'd think the below's like falling down, wouldn't you? But it don't, I don't think it does crumble. I don't think it does. I think it's quite solid. So solid. Solid as a. Solid as a. <laughs> insert, insert your own lyric. <laughs> <clears throat> see where the sea comes 
I don't know if get rough here as well. I've been here when it's been absolutely wild. The sea was bashing against these. It was good. I liked it. Watch your step. <laughs> There's a um old tree that's a fossilized tree from the second century that's been there since then that's the only thing left of a huge forest that was here there's a sedimentary forest second century see how much these rocks have been washed you have a bloody hard hat on you Falls on your head, you'll know what it like. <laughs> and obviously, look, if they do fall off. Oh, I, I, yeah, they will. Look at this. Look at that. Look at all that up there. Oh, the crumblings. Look at that. Oh, that's ready to go on it. Probably shouldn't be in here, like. <laughs> and then you've got to do that. That's where the people are. Now, look at that for a view. Here, Check out my peephole. <laughs> <laughs> so that whole big cliff here is just supported by that little two foot of that bit there. Two foot where it joins that rock. If that goes there, that whole thing will come down. We better get I'm panicking now. <laughs> no, don't think about it. It's best not to think about it. And then just around there, there's a few more. Up there. Kez has been up there, look. Oh, hi, Kez. Oh, Kez. Craig David. Nice. Beautiful. That's how Shields has got off that. That's for sure. All right. Beautiful. So we're going to head back up. Back up now, we'll go to the lighthouse. Come back to the lighthouse. Swimming in there, be carrying out. More sea stacks. Looks like it's foul, isn't it? I think there was a bridge across there at one point. But that's what, that's our version of Dirndl-Door. That's it. It's rugged this coastline, like. It's totally different. You go to Northumberland, further up north, the further north you go, the, the sort of like the, the gentler it gets. There's no sand on these beaches. But anyway, rugged round here, isn't it? We're up here. I've been up in that lighthouse bit to the light. You can go in when the National Trust have it open. You can go up the stairs into the light. And there's like a lighthouse keepers, um, like the bedroom in there. And you go in and it's eerie as anything. It's really chilly and cold and it's just really spooky. It freaked me out that like. That's a true story that. In the lighthouse keepers cottage. Suta lighthouse. How do you say it? I just say Suta. Suta. It's spelled S-O-U-T-E-R. Souta or Suta. But on bank holidays. The sound the, here. the sound the the sound the foghorn on bank holidays, don't they? There's a calf over there as well. It's ram. ram. Uh, when the weather's nice, it's ram. Ah, uh, it gets busy. Like there's a there's a little walk around it, herb garden and all that. Where the lighthouse keepers used to plant herbs. Yeah. And had little gardens. Used to grow their own. Herbs. But like, there's a shop just there. <laughs> yeah, <but they're> busy. <laughs> See the sea stack. I know, I'd never get that. Why would the lighthouse keeper set their own garden up herbs and that when there's Morrison's just the back of them? <laughs> Makes no sense. I couldn't be bothered. Here, just go to Morrison's, get some tomatoes. I'm growing them in the garden. What's the point? And that? Because that's how lighthouse keepers talk. All lighthouse keepers. All lighthouse keepers. Even from the northeast. Even from. And fishermen. Even from Scandinavia. So there's the lighthouse in the back. Yeah, we've got another oh, I it is, I. That's got the top of that lake. That'll be gone. 20 years that'll be gone. See that bit at the bottom there. A bit of a rough seal to pull that off. They've got barriers up the cliffs are crumbling like the cliffs are falling down. There's a lot of work going on along there because the road's falling in. The road is going to be rerouted. Reroute. Reroute, how do you say it? 
anyway they can talk about knocking all this down all this old mining brickworks whatever it was and rerouting the road back further back because there's all the side all this is caving in there's actually ongoing works now so it's not like just talking about it oh no it's a thing it's, happening. it's actually happening yeah and we're hoping to get some of the concrete underpinning there's a big cormorant on top of there i can't have me zoom on i can't have me zoom on It's a bit of local history, this is a bit of an eerie spot, this is old car park here and how many people parked up and just jumped over the cliffs? A lot. How many loads? That's why, that's, that's why I got shut. That's why they shut it down and now look it's just a derelict bit of land, I haven't even covered it over. How did you get here? Where was the road? Just drive over the grass. They've covered the road, that. The road comes down there I think. Aye. Uh, but I, I'm sure I used to park here years ago, I used to bring just bring my kids when they were little. Oh, bloody weird. Oh, imagine jumping over there. No, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. This is a famous uh, South Shields pub, the Marsden Grotto. The Marsden, they just call it the Grotto now. It, was, it used to be like, uh, it was famous for smugglers back in the day, wasn't it? Yeah, the Smuggler's Cove. Smuggler's Cove, that's the uh, That's the lift shaft from there all the way down. My brother-in-law, Steve, used to, used to fix the lift here and we came one day I mean you only you only go in from there up that ladder and into the motor room there and there's a picture a photograph of me somewhere stood right on the top of that proudest punch in a big blue boiler suit <laughs> I wish I could find that picture but I'm gone back 20 yeah and this was the the grotto the famous where was the one that fell down was it there it was it it had a it had a it used to connect to a, a stack yeah and then the middle bit fell down so oh, it yeah. was just it was that bit and then the stack and then the stack fell i'll try and find an old photo and put it in yeah there used to just be a big archway through the whole thing I'll and then the, the middle bit collapsed i'll put the photograph in here if if i can find one should be one shouldn't it oh wait I just but we're gonna just google it but we're gonna go down onto down the beach, on the beach. Now and have a look back up i wish i could find that photograph we meant if i could find that long gone it was printed on paper as well so the pub is there along here this is a pub the bottom of that is the lift tower so i was stood right on top of that that's not all of the pub though no no the pub goes right into the it's built into the cliff yeah. the marsden grotto but obviously shut now and there's another sea stack that was one there's another look yeah another one over there we'll go along there and all the birds will just come down them steps of death <laughs> really steep steps of terror and then all the dicky birds nesting hell on if we could speak kitty work they'd be saying well yes fuck it off this is our place they're, they're, not... feeding, they're, feeding, the, they're feeding the chicks though aren't they aye that's the quiet area Just going out, getting a bit of base, and then coming back, aren't they? Mhm. Mm Mad, that now. Used to have people climb that, you know. Oh no, I've actually seen somebody stand on top of that before. If I could only find the photograph. <laughs> These young lasses are in the. Gym. How are you enjoying the walk? Mint. Have you got any jokes? No. <sighs> no jokes. Yeah. I don't do jokes, man. I've no, I haven't got the delivery. I can't remember any. When it comes to remembering jokes, seems to be. Does it? Uh, leaning Tower of South Shields. <laughs> Isn't it all stable, does it? Watch a bird land on it and it just goes. But that's uh, right at the bottom of them cliffs. And there's. It's in the cave. I don't know, I'm going to go in there. Looking back to the pub. Oh, let's have a look in here. You've got to be careful, like, because uh, you see the tide line. I think there's been people cut off here, hasn't it? What? There's been people cut off here before. I don't think the tide goes too far, up like. I think it has on flood tide. It can. You've just got to be. You've just got to know the. <laughs> getting dive bombed. Dive bombed by a You've just got to know that um, the tide. Watch the tide. Ooh, ah, ah. Can't you just have yourself a little kip in here and then. Uh, you wake up and you the can't get it. Up here. Aye. Set your feet. Oh, that would be tense, wouldn't it? Good. Another bit cave. Well, it must 
instead of here. It will on a flood. I think a high tide, there you see the line there where the seaweed is. Yeah. That's probably about as high as it'll come normally. But on a flood tide it'll come up here when the moon is big. There we are, the old man of South Shields. It is, isn't it? The old man of Ho! <laughs> uh, Mr. Stoker's just had the shock of his life. Oh, the biggest shock I've ever had in my life, ever. <laughs> so amongst these cliffs here, there is, in the middle there, I don't know if you can make it out as like a gouge, there was a staircase leading back up no, onto the path. There was a staircase, but it was a big concrete surface, like a lifeguard hut. Yeah. And there was a big like concrete platform base and it's just gone. It's all gone. Totally gone. <laughs> it's all collapsed into the into the sand where they've obviously been and cleared it as well. How did they get down to clear it? <laughs> but some bloke said there was a landslide there that the cliff just gave way a couple of months back. Nice. So we'll come along here and we're gonna have to scramble up the cliffs. To get root? There is a path, but I'd rather scramble up the cliffs. <laughs> but we'll go up the path if we find it. And then we'll be heading back. There, right, as long as you keep an eye on that water. Keep an eye on the tide coming in here. Oh, yeah. This is where you get cut off. Yeah, you'll get cut off. You won't be able to get out from here. No, it'll come, not it'll come in there. Like just, you know, cut off. you know, if you get cut off here, it's like knee deep. We were, I was actually cut off when we went to Scotland. And we didn't get cut off on that bit where we're bivied. Oh, yeah. I was gutted. Oh, no, we wanted to die. It was like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, remember that video we did at Bass Rock and we pitched somewhere like that? And it's, a, it fact, it's, it's exactly the same, isn't it? That's our next bivy pitch. See it back, back. There we go. Nice. So that path that, uh, that we're on about is this. That's where we would have came up there, but it's been taken away. It's gone. It's gone. Keep out. Keep out. Marsden Bay. 10 metres from cliffs. Uh, really to beware of crashing waves. Why is there a picture of... Uh, the Scouser. No, it's not. That's uh, Harry Enfield. It's not Rockshaw Rude from the wrestling. It looks like Harry Enfield. Uh, <laughs> kebab block. All right, Matty Peeps. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> it's everybody. All right, so we're going to walk up here now. And the road that we're going to is where the Great North Run comes down. We're basically doing, like we're going to do three miles here of the Great North Run. Uh, we're going to do it, but in reverse. Yeah, in reverse. Because they come down there, yeah. and then they go along there, along the seafront, to the finish line. So that's that's a bit of, Marsden. bit of history for you. If you've done the Great North Run, this is where it comes down. I did the very first Great North Run, very first one. Whoa. Couldn't do it now. Now we're back to the cars. Probably could do it now, but not, not in the time. And now we're back on the road of terror. Yeah, lad. Nice. Soft tail. That was nice, that. Soft tail, wasn't it? Noisy, but nice. Oh, dear. So. Ooh, God. Oh, God. Sounds terrible. Bandout. As mentioned, we're on the road of death. Back on the. Still doing the. Great North Run Road. Aye, this is where the Great North Run comes like. Still. You might recognise the landscapes if you've done any of the Great North Run. Don't know if you've done it or not. Put in the comments. Aye. But yeah, we've done about... Um, what exactly how much? We'll find out how many miles we've done so far. So we've got about two miles to go. 13 miles. Ooh! 13 miles? Yeah. That's Great North Run. Yeah. 13 miles. Not even feeling it, right? You know, we're not walking up hills in that. It's flat, man. Isn't nah, it? it's flat. It's easy when it's flat. Probably got about another five miles in me. I could do now quite easily. But after that, I'd be knackered. Yeah, I need a beer. Aye, yeah, so. Oh, I just had to get off that road, like, the noise was terrible. So, what you got to say? This is your chance. No. Oh. It's just nice what you can find. And yeah. If you if you go a couple of miles out of out of your way, local. You know what I mean? You don't have to drive miles to go for a nice walk, do you? Not really. There's, there's something on everybody's doorstep. We've been finding that out lately. Yeah. 
we'll never camp again. Blythe, Dunstan, South Shield, we've got it all. Yeah. We've got it all. We're spoiled. We are spoiled. We are spoiled. Spoiled rotten. Spoiled rotten. But I think there's a few more walks to do yet. I've got one in mind for next week, but we'll see. Um, and then we're basically out, aren't we? Uh, and then we're out, out. Whoa. Four weeks to go. Shackles off. Four weeks to the, the um, 12th. No. Well, the 12th is a Monday, isn't it? So it's the 17th you're looking at. Jesus. Hear the noise on these roads. This is during lockdown. Imagine what it's going to get like. <laughs> <laughs> be unbearable. People will be staying in just to annoy all the people. Get away from people on the road. Uh, look at that slide. It's mint. Love to have a gun of that. So I'll topple it down. Never right, so anyway. It looks like a right kiddie fiddler though. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. I'm Come gonna uh, I'm gonna end this video here. Or am I? Because I might have one last little scene. Okay? Okay. Over and out. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, bing on the bell. And share. And share. <laughs>